get it. <coughs> I'm sorry, I sound horrible. But I have bronchitis. And I've been coughing a lot. And stick it up in your pocket. Well, today, I was going through all my Facebook friends, all my Facebook friends. And I realized that there's only a select few that actually noted so they, they, they start to enroll and apply to these colleges that they need to cut down on what they put on their Facebook. I understand that there is freedom of speech. However, every time I see when someone puts something on their Facebook when they know that they're applying to top notch colleges or just colleges in general, my mother tells me, why do you put all your business on Facebook? Colleges are going to look at that, and they're going to base your character on what they see on your Facebook. Everything that you like, what your friends say, that's what they're going to base your Facebook on. So why do you put that up there? And I used to tell her, oh no, I don't know, I'll just delete it later. But I realized that it would make no sense for me to put something up there that I wouldn't want her to see. My mother is on my Facebook. And I know that if she wasn't on my Facebook, I would probably be putting a lot of drama up there that doesn't need to be up there. Because my mother keeps me in check. She tells me what I shouldn't put on my Facebook and what I should put on my Facebook. And she will help me be successful and prevent me from going down the drain in colleges and get me picked because of all the stuff that I do, which is being a student ambassador to people to people. Everyone I know asks, what are you doing? They say they do community service. They don't do clubs or anything. They hang out with their friends. They go to school and all that stuff. Colleges look at what you do in a whole. You don't do community service. All you do is go to school and get good grades. What makes you stand out from the rest of them? An internship doesn't make you stand out from the rest of them. A job doesn't make you stand out from the rest of them. 500 hours of community service is when you keep saying that for us and then you go out there and fight for what you want. Me being a student ambassador gives me an 84% chance of getting into the college of my first choice. And yes, the trips are expensive, but I realize that if I want to do something, then I have to strive for it. So I'm fundraising the money so that I can go on my trip and my mother said she'd meet me halfway. On top of that, I started a volunteer thing on my own, in which case, for every $10 that is donated, there are five books are donated, and every $20 that's donated, 10 books are donated to kids who don't have books to help the literacy rate go up. I think that kids today need to realize that everything that they put on the internet stays up there. It's not just pictures, it's not just videos, it's not just you yelling at your friends on Facebook and getting into my space fights, it's not just that. When you write things on the internet, it can be found just like that. And as you get closer to going off to college, it makes more of a difference. You're supposed to be maturing through high school so that you don't have to be a loose cannon as soon as you get to college. There is a difference and there is a fine line between slander and opinion. And another thing that upsets me, parents aren't perfect. We aren't perfect either. And yes, it's frustrating when we get yelled at for things that we don't even realize that we did. But it's uncalled for for a lot of my friends to sit here and call their moms bees and call them out of their names and talk about the hate them and they're tired of them saying stuff. As far as I'm concerned, your parents gave birth to you. And if you're the first one, then you took the longest to come out. You have no right to disrespect your parents like that. I know I've done it before, and I regret it. Because my mother is the best thing that's happened to me. She pushes me. 
to be who I need to be. She strives for me to be who I need to be. She has to watch me. She still guides me. No, she isn't perfect. Our relationship sometimes has rocks and ports in the road. We don't always agree. But I know that even when she's yelling at me, there's a reason behind it. And it's not just out of nowhere. It's not just, oh, I just decided to start yelling at you. There's a reason behind it. And I know she tells me that she only has two years left for me. She's going to be excited to me. But I know that I'm going to be getting a phone call from her, checking on me, talking about how much she misses me and how much she loves me, because she's my mom. And if I need to, I know I can call her every day and talk to her. She'll be there for me. A lot of kids need to realize they need to value their parents, because not, all, not everybody has parents. And I'm sure a lot of the kids who don't have their parents today would trade our parents for the world because they're not growing up with the guidance of their own parents or their parents couldn't provide for them so they had to give them up. For those of us who have parents who go beyond, above and beyond our expectations, such as sending us to certain programs and letting us do things and giving us allowances, the only thing our parents are required to do is feed us and shelter us and put clothes on our back so they don't have to be expensive and give us an education. But a lot of our parents celebrate our birthdays, celebrate Christmas, give us allowances, give us freedom that some kids don't have. A lot of kids in other countries don't have that freedom. And I think us as Americans, we get for granted because we're so used to it and we say our parents are so unfair and we get in trouble for stuff that we shouldn't do. And a lot of things happen in people's lives. And you may be mad at your parents now, but I guarantee you something's going to happen. And you're going to need your mom. And she might not be there to help you get through whatever you need to get through. And you're going to regret everything that you've called her behind her back. Everything, every bad thought that you ever thought about her, or your dad, you're going to regret it one day. Because they won't be there forever. They're not always going to hold our hands. So like I said, this is originally about what everybody puts on their Facebook and their MySpace and how everyone's always fighting and stuff and cussing and stuff. Colleges don't like to see that, guys. And a lot of jobs fire their employees for what they put on their Facebook and their Facebook Because it's not right you're going to the real world without someone constantly telling you that you can't do this or telling you to do your homework or telling you to do this faster or not to put on the Facebook. Now is the time for us to learn how to manage ourselves and what we say and what we show to the world. That's it for today.